Hello everyone. Recently I've done lots of malware runs. Perhaps too many. It should be considered unhealthy. The one I performed yesterday happened to be glorious. The malware gods blessed me with a bunch of fake installers and flash player programs. Besides, I got a nutware 30 minutes in. Regardless, today's video subject is the fake extension scam. And this one is no ordinary extension scam. It masks itself as a user account control dialog. Check that out. What a beauty. It implies that there is an important Chrome update available, and I have to click install to continue. I thought that kind of fraud died way back in 2016, yet it's up in life at the end of 2021. That kind of scam isn't particularly difficult to expose. First of all, you take a look at the address bar. It says set up current super the file dot VIP. That should be the first and the only step you perform before pressing Ctrl W. Though if you are morbidly curious, next thing you can check are the topmost buttons. Press any of them and you'll be redirected at the extension page. In fact, every single link on this site leads to the malicious extension. and even non-links. You click anywhere on the body of this page and you get redirected. This extension you definitely don't want to install. It's called Malware Finder by Bakilo Nerhantoker098. What's so funny is that the pop-up height is precisely picked to hide everything else aside from the extension name and the Add to Chrome button. You can't see its rating or any details whatsoever, although you can just resize the pop-up window and all the intel is yours. Let's see. It looks like a generic fake fraud extension. Malwarefinder.net. Let's actually see the malwarefinder.net. We can do it in a pop-up. I actually kind of want to find out. Okay, that's not genuine. <laughs> they didn't even change the company name in EULA. That's definitely just a landing page, just for Chrome extensions to be accepted. It's probably all white. Oh no, that's a template background. Now why did I make a video on this simple obvious fraud website? Simply because there are people that aren't experienced with technology. And since this website is one of the last of that kind, I strongly believe. It poses a high risk for unsuspecting users. Trust me, last time I found that kind of website in my malware run was about 5 years ago. In conclusion, you should remember that no browser pushes any important updates through websites. Never install any untrusted extensions, they are most likely malicious. I already made a copy of that website and uploaded it to my malware database. To any insiders that want to play around with it, I left a link in the description. Take care.